Hello there, YouTube. My name is Windy. People, please call me Windy. So, uh, the first thing I want to mention is that unfortunately I am stuffed up with allergies. Uh, I do feel overall better compared to like last week, but I'm still stuffed up with my allergies. So there is that. But I do have some water with me. So, uh, yeah, we have some water. We have some water today. Anyway, uh, I also want to mention before this video starts that this video is going to be probably quite a bit longer uh, than I normally record. And that's just because it's such a fun game and it's a longer game and I really, really, really am excited to share this game with you guys. Um, but anyway, so this game, as you can see, is called Dark Parables Curse of Briar Rose. Now, real quick, this is a hidden object game. And before I continue, you're probably wondering, what is a hidden object game? If you don't know what a hidden object game is, it's a type of puzzle game where as you play a game, you're going to have different little scenes and you have to find certain objects. Now, sometimes in certain games, it will pertain to like a certain timeline, like medieval times, the 1920s, or et cetera, et cetera. So sometimes the objects will pertain to that timeline. So let's say you're looking for a torch. Well, if you're in the, if the game is set in medieval times and such, then the torch you want to look for is the actual torch. It's like wood and uh, whatever the material is, and that, 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 like you hold and it has fire on it, not like a flashlight torch, if that makes sense. Uh, well, so that's kind of what an allergy game is a little bit about it, and, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, my allergies are bothering me, so I apologize for that. Um, but let me bring up what, or where this game is from. Besides there being, besides being from Dark Parables, there we go, this game, uh, you can buy and play from Big Fish Games. Big Fish Games is a, I'm not sure what the word is, but basically there, it's a website. And you can find all different types of game and game type, well, games and game types. You can find puzzle games, you can find adventure games, you can find action games, hit more hidden object games like Dark Parables. Um, you can find kids games. It's really, really fun. Uh, I've used it for years upon years, and this was a, one of the very first hidden object games I think I ever played that I just immediately fell in love with. Now, as you can see, this one says Dark Parables Curse of Briar Rose. So first of all, Dark Parables. Dark Parables, amazing hidden object game series. I highly recommend it if you have not tried it. The graphics are usually beautiful. The music is enchanting. It is absolutely wonderful series. I love it to death. I don't have all the games yet, but I have tried out some of them and I have to try some of the ones, but yeah. Uh, that's another thing with Big Fish Games I want to bring up before I continue on. Uh, Big Fish Games, you either can buy the game or you can first try it for like either an hour or 90 minutes. And if you like it, then you can buy it. So there is a free trial option. It's not just like a buy it and if you don't like it, you just waste the money. You could still try it first and then play it. Maybe back to my main part. But uh, this one is, this Dark Parables one. Dark Parables is a series where they talk about different fairy tales. Such as, in this case, Curse of Fry Rose, aka as we all know her. Uh, Sleeping Beauty, aka Aurora. So basically this goes way into the main actual story of the Curse of Fry Rose. With the briars and the curse. And how instead she actually could not be wakened. Uh, it's a very wonderful game. It kind of explains it in the beginning. Uh, like I said, my little history of the game is that this was one of the first hit object games I've played. One of the first Dark Parables hit object games I've played as well. And, oh, it captured my heart. It just captured it. I loved it so much. And every time I was getting, like, a new device, a new computer, or whatever, I would download the free trial of this and play the free trial. So, the beginning, I'm probably going to go very, very fast. Because I've played that beginning part so many times. But I've only played the actual game through one time, because at one point I finally had had enough money to finally get the full game. That just goes to show how much I've played it. Um, now I will say, this actually has been a short while since I've played it, so there is that issue. But, uh, yeah, so basically, Dark Parables, Curse of Virus, let's get into it. Once upon a time, many years ago... On the day the princess was born, the king held a great festival and invited all but one godmother, who was strong in sorcery yet wicked at heart. Upon hearing the news, the evil godmother placed a curse on the newborn child. Later in life, the young princess came across a spindle in a dusty old room and pricked her finger. The inhabitants instantly fell under a sleeping spell, while briars burst from the ground and shrouded the castle. 
One day, a daring prince braved the thick vines and ventured into the castle. Upon finding the princess, he gave her a kiss, which was foretold to free the princess from her curse. Though the kiss removed the briars and awakened the inhabitants, the princess never rose from her eternal slumber. Many years have passed, and the truth behind the sleeping princess has been forgotten. What remains is the tale passed down through generations as the Sleeping Beauty. <coughs> Please excuse me for that. I had to hack really badly. Ugh, my allergies. Detective, the, detective thing. the case file you have in front of you may be connected to the tale of Briar Rose. I've given you a map to an abandoned castle rumored to be her resting place. Recent evidence shows vines are growing under the castle grounds. Your investigation will be to find the source of this anomaly and to quickly stop it from spreading further. This case is of the utmost urgency. If the vine growth is not contained, it will consume our city within seven days. Good luck, detective. I'm gonna get rid of the tutorial real quick for you guys. Um, any questions, let me quick. I apologize for that hacking. Uh, like I said, my allergies are draining me real bad. So that has to happen every once in a while because I have to clear my throat and hack and whatever and ugh. But yeah, so anyway, so basically, as we see there, or we saw there, that is the actual story of Briar Rose, the one where, you know, everyone else woke up, but she did not. She did not wake up. And so now, as the person said on the other side of the recording or whatever, we have to figure out why in the world there's briars growing from underneath this abandoned castle. So as you see here, this is, I'm going to kind of guide you guys a little bit. This is the sparkling area that starts this hidden object scene. So as you see, we have to look for all these different objects. Uh, I should be able to find some of them pretty quickly. Because as I said, I've played this before. I've played this scene before. There are certain parts I remember. But it's also been a while, so I might not find a part for a while. Um, whenever you play these games, if you end up checking out this game, don't be afraid if you have to to use the uh, hints. Sometimes they do have, they do have hints usually. Um, but if you have to use a hint, don't feel ashamed. Sometimes you just honestly cannot see certain things, or there's some things that are just that well hidden, and it's happened to me before. Uh, I think that's a part. Yeah, that's a part. Is this a part? Yep. I mean, again, this has been, it's been a while since I've played this too, so my, it's a little not foggy foggy, but it's a little, like, more, I gotta think a bit more, so. Okay, there's one part. And then, so it looks like that, so it might be part of the statue. Oh, where'd that part go? I know where that part is. I just can't remember where it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Found it. Oh, I still have one more part. Okay, I didn't realize I had one more part to find. Um, and as you saw before, the one that was like right here, they kind of stick out sometimes. Uh, nah, nope. Let's see. Is that there? No. Hmm. Where is it? But yeah. So I've so. Now, the nice thing about Hinachi games is that I've kind of developed a, I guess you could say, a pretty good eye for certain things. Oh, there it is. I found it. Uh, but I've developed a pretty good eye for things I'm looking for and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, admittedly. But now, as you see, we got a sturdy axe from that location, so now we're looking at this. The door is blocked by thick vines. I'll need a sharp tool to clear the vegetations. Well, oh, that's a raven. Or crow. Why don't you fly away? Come back here. But anyway. So here's our sturdy axe. We cut away the vines. Now we can go in. You now have access to the castle. To see a list of searchable areas useful to your investigation, click on the inspect icon. And then this tells us kind of where we can go. Or where to go, I should say. Chapter 1. Okay. Now we've officially started the main portion of the game. Sometimes there's different chapters. So it really just depends. But as you see, this area is glowing. So let's check it out. There are many interactive concepts... Uh, contraption, contra contraptions <laughs> within the castle. Exploring, click everywhere to solve the puzzle. If you are stuck, a hint can help. You can also skip the puzzle, but it locks in. Okay, so that's another thing. Sometimes games will have a thing where you can use, just you can uh, skip a puzzle if you really, really want to, but the hint get locked. 
hint will not be available or will just lock for whatever for some amount of time. This one at least does. Usually it doesn't do that, but it does do like, if, oh, if you use skin, skip, you have to like wait for the hint to recharge. So let's see, so things that involve a king, a queen, and a knight. Um, this goes here. This goes here. Uh, the armor goes here. The mirror goes here. You go here. This goes here. This goes here. Almost done. Where's the last one? Oh! Here we go. There we go. As you can see, we now have uh, done this puzzle. And then lock the thing right here. This is a, what is this? A door handle. Okay, good, 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 good. This king statue looks eerily alive. I wonder what goes on its hand. So we probably need a scepter. Statue of the queen. Something appears to be missing from your hand. Okay, so that tells us, like, hey, you know, you gotta find something. Now that I had an object scene, let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah, the sun emblem. I. I know I've already said it before, but I honestly just love hidden object games. They're a huge. They're a fun way to really spend the day, um, especially if you have no Wi-Fi. Like, if your Wi-Fi goes out or something happens, uh, and you're able to play some hidden object games, I definitely recommend it. Uh, I definitely recommend checking out Dark Parables. I recommend checking out Big Fish Games. You can find some really great games on there. Um, there's some vampire-type games, werewolf-type games. Uh, you can find some like this one, you know. Uh, and, of course, I'm not sponsored by Big Fish. I'm not being paid to tell you this. I'm not being paid to play this. I'm just playing this so you guys can actually see this and see what was such a big part of my childhood, honestly. Um, let's see. Sometimes it takes a second to find those pieces because, like, you think to yourself, like, oh, I know what they are, and, like, you don't remember where they are. <laughs> uh, let's see, so I'm looking for this weird kind of brownish part and this. Now, some of you may find these parts before I do. Well, there's one at least. Man, you may find some of these parts before I do, and that's okay. Um, but this really is just a fun, fun game. Let's see. So I'm missing this kind of curved part. I know where it is. I'm just gonna see if I can remember where it went. Da -da 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 -da. Peace, where did you go? Where'd it go? Um, let's. Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> but yeah, now we have half of a or a sun emblem half. and i think there's the other half is either a moon emblem or it's another part of the sun whoa did that, did that just change it did haha -ha! removing the curse morphing objects quickly recharges your hint found one of 20. oh cool what's this why are you sparkling danger sharp must be soft and branch in the city so i guess it's just a look at it let's us look at them Let's go over here. Welcome, detective. Do not be alarmed. I am Briar Rose, and I wish you no harm. The curse has returned, and a great danger looms. But I can help you to stop it before all is consumed. My body lies in repose in a castle room deep to vanquish the curse. You must rouse me from sleep. However, an evil godmother is haunting this place. Be wary, or else she may foil your case. Follow me. I just now fully realized, after so many years of playing this game, she talks in rhyme! How did I not notice that before? Like, I knew this was gonna happen, but how did- how did I notice the talking rhyme? What? Oh yeah, this is a doll. That's important. Uh, I don't think there's anything else much. There's this thing. Um, we have to go this way. You cannot stop me! <laughs> what on earth was that? You guys can probably guess who that was, but I think if I remember correctly, that's like a sign of the evil, uh, godmother. Uh, there was rest give hole on this gravestone. A key can be found here. Oh, yeah, we have to find, like, the matching objects. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, here it is. Oh, right, right, right. We have to, like, look for the key. Okay. 
Each slot relates to its animal above, allowing them to fit a particular pattern. Okay, so this is a mouse. Uh, cat? No, maybe food. Okay, cheese. Rabbits eat. Carrots. And monkeys eat bananas. Okay. Ring the bells in the correct sequence. Notice the blue bulbs above. Okay. Nope. Oh, that's another one. Aha! We got that one. Then there's something with this. Either it's gonna give us something or it's a puzzle. Oh, there we go. It gave us something. And we got... What? A bell tower key! And I think that's the bell tower right there. But let's check these out. The queen's tombstone and the king's tombstone. This is a weird symbol thing. Yeah, so let's go this way. The name play on the stone statue reads Godmother of the Royal. So that's one of the godmothers. This one's, I think, supposed to be another one. And there's no nameplate. So go right here. We need the key. Okay. So now we can search up here in the bells. Uh, we need the moon emblem. I think this one goes with the sun emblem. If I remember correctly. Um, let's see. And again, I know in some cases it probably seems like I'm going crazy super fast. And again, that is just because I've played this in the beginning so many times. Um, the last couple pieces are where? Let's see, this one, they look kind of wood-ish. So I'm looking them on the wood. Um, yeah, these games can be really, really entertaining and really, 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 really fun. Uh, I definitely recommend, you know, this game to anyone who maybe wants to give it a try. It's just fun. I know I keep saying that, I know I keep being seemingly repetitive, but it's just fun to play this game and just discover stories and make your own opinions on them. And plus, you learn a little bit, too. So, there's that. Um, okay, we need a thing for to clean that soon. Um, oh, there's something in my notes. Can I go back a bit at all? Okay. This was from the beginning. Uh, now we're standing here. Uh, sleuthing. Found an axe. Okay, not much really, so let's go back. Okay, so now let's go backward. To... Right here. This is gonna take the moon one, because you look, this looks very similar to the moon emblem, so... Here we go. Oh, we need door handle, that's right. There we go. Okay, let's go this way. What the? This thing's moving. Oh, it's a mechanical one. Okay. That, I thought that was gonna be like a cursed one or something. Oh, this scene I always hated. This little hidden object scene. Because there was at one point, it took me like a good 10 minutes to find all the pieces because I completely had forgotten where they were at one point. Oh, it was torture. Let's see. Um, I one more. Oh man, and like what doesn't help is that like in some places it's darker, so you have to like you have to look really really closely too. Um, ah, there we go. But yeah, one of the pieces I hated was the one that was like right there on the middle of the shield, cause it looked like part of the shield. What's this? There's a patch of loose dirt. Oh yeah, I need a shovel for that, I think. Well, hot. Uh, there are four interactive puzzles. Solve in each one, move the horse forward. That's right, that's right, that's right, okay. Uh, oh, no, I'm gonna put this one on. Wait, oh, wait. Does it go up here? Oh yeah, it does go there. Okay. Um... Uh... What? Okay, hold on. What? What? 
Okay, let me do this. Um... Okay. Uh, be. Um, be. Let me get this. There we go. There we go, and then I think this is the last one. There we go. There we go, and now we have access to the stables. I can't remember what this is, but there is a thing in here. Oh yeah, we need like a statue or something. Let's see. Um, a peculiar horse stall is locked behind these steel bars. This is changing. Found a second morph object. You guys might see them before I do. So if you do, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, let's see. Now we need a shovel. And again, this is another one I hate because, again, some places are darker so you have to like, actually look, look. Like, get up to the screen, look. This one's harder. Um, I think I see a piece here. Yeah. But yeah, this one scene is harder because like you have to really like look, look for the pieces. Um, let's see. But yeah, usually hit up, some hidden object games are a lot easier than others, but some are a lot harder. And some have just have harder scenes in general. I think there's a couple pieces right here. Is this a piece? No. Is this a piece? Yes. You guys are gonna hear me say that a lot, like, is this a piece? Is this a piece? <laughs> yeah. Let's see, where is that next piece? And again, like, I hate, like, how it's darker in some places, because then you can't see some of them. Um. Aha! Okay, so there's one, so I got one more. One more to find. Um. Let's see. You watch, I'm probably gonna look right over and have to use the hint. Maybe. Don't think it's in here. Don't think it's right here. It's not there. Uh, oh, where is it? And as you guys know, I'm like right up to the screen, so I probably sound louder than normal. Um, but I'm looking. Is that it? No. I remember once a long time ago, I got so stuck on this scene that I literally just thought to myself, like, you know what? Let's just come back to it later. Um, you know what? Can't find it. Let's just use that. Oh my god, it was there! What?! I think that's usually a piece I find pretty quickly. How in the world... Okay then. So, we at least have the shovel now. And there's a part of a ladder. Um... Okay, there's plaques missing. So we know that. Uh, let's go this way. Um, oh yeah, there's a knife here. There's this. Uh, can move with a proper tool. Probably, I don't think the knife is gonna work, is it? No. I didn't think the knife would work anyway, but still, I wanted to check. Because, like, I knew that, like, there was a something we had to use, but I couldn't think of what. Uh, can you need a ladder high enough? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I need, like, different little emblem things. I think I just found one. Grossest? No. Uh, a symbol of power, I am worn of the most powerful ruler on the slam. That's a that's a crown, isn't it? We're gonna go somewhere else. Aha! Okay. I'm your best protection from undesired weather, be it rain or a ray. That's an umbrella. Or something. Oh, there's a note. 
It is fascinating to see the spirit of Briar Rose firsthand, yet puzzling that the spirit has inside some investigation. Um, yeah. So anyway, so there's that. So let's go here to the... Oh, I hate this puzzle! No! Sometimes these puzzles are a lot harder than you think they are. And, you know, I hate to say that, but that's just true. So. Um... We go here. 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 And then here. And then up. Perfect. I think now that I'm older and I've played this so much, it's a little bit easier, but sometimes these puzzles can be, like, really stupidly difficult. And they don't mean to be, it's just the game. Um, I've always thought that these, before I go to the scene, this stuff, like all the glass panes and everything from this church, is so pretty. Like, all the colors and everything. Uh, oh, the King Scepter! Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I think that's a piece right there? Yep. That's a piece. Checking right here, make sure there's no pieces, because there was a point in time where those completely baffled me, and I didn't think they were pieces, but they were. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm looking for a green jewel piece. I know where that is. Where is it? Where'd it go? Because I've seen it before, I know where it is, I know what it is. I just can't remember where it was. Because again, it's been a while since I've played this, but I have played this. Many, many times. At least this beginning part. Um, and like I said, I've only played through the whole game one time. Which may not sound believable, but that's the truth. Oh, I need the different cups, that's right. And like, I think then this opens. Okay. So this is a place of interest for later in time. Um... Let's go back a little bit, at least. I think I can use a shovel on this. What did I find? A shield rose disc. Oh, maybe that's what it was implying instead. Because I was thinking umbrella. I thought there was going to be umbrella, but I think this is probably more fitting. Um. Nope. So it must be an umbrella. Okay, well, let's go put the feet on the statue. Oh, we have to do this one again, okay. Well, let me go here and put it on the statue, at least. Oh, I'm gonna want it. This one. There we go. Okay, let's go back to that one pond. Now we're looking for half of a ladder. And again, this is just gonna go kind of fast. So I need some more nails and a piece of wood. Um, let's see. There's the wood. The nails are right there. There we go. So now we can go connect it to that one half of the ladder that was broken. So let's go back over here. See? That was broken half, so let's put this on the ladder. So now we have a whole ladder. We can go up. Ta-da! We're up here. We're making progress. Can I go back here yet? No? Can I go back here? Yes. Okay, here's part of the sun, um, sun album. El em emblem. Emblem, blah, 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 blah. Um. Hmm. Well, let's go put the scepter in the king's hand. We have to go back a lot. <laughs> Here's your scepter, sir. What did it do? Did it do anything? I don't think so. I think it's when we get the queen's scepter as well, or whatever, that it'll do something. Um, yeah, let's see. Inspect. Okay, let's go to the bell tower. So it's telling us to inspect the bell tower. So let's go check out the bell tower. So let's see. Let's go this way. Now, in some games, the maps will have, like, a fast travel ability. Um, but not always. It just depends. Oh, the body of the godmother sent you. Okay. Let's 
sometimes you can kind of guess which pieces are what's like part of the statue and what isn't. I need one more. Um, I know I've seen the arm around here. I'm gonna do a hand because why? It's because I have a little thing right here. You guys can't see it, but I don't want to actually. Okay, so it was right there. Okay, I didn't want to actually push like stop recording <laughs> when I wasn't ready to stop recording. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. But still, did it say chapter three? What in the world? I was gonna do options, but oh well. Uh, I was investigating the band chapel. The portrait was missing from the colored windows. If she passed away, her depiction would be included. Hmm. Okay, so she's talking about Sleeping Beauty herself. But we have this. We have the statue now. So, what's weird is that it said Chapter Three. What? I I I don't know how we already did Chapter Two, but we did. Okay, so now we check up up here. We need to check back over here near the stables, and we need to go check in the stables. So let us go first to here, because that's going to be the closest. Okay, so we got to look in here. Oh, the other half of the sun emblem. Okay. Also, I'm going to say it now, because I can't remember where it is. But at some point, there's going to be like a spider, and I- Ugh, I hate spiders. I want to give you guys a heads up at least so you guys aren't too freaked out about it at least. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm missing three pieces. I think they might be on here. Aha! There was one. Oh, I'm missing four. I was missing four. That's only one. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, let's see. There's that one. Now I need two more. Let's see. Alright, there's one. I need one with like a jeweled piece. Oh, I just found it randomly by even clicking. I wasn't even looking at it. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then before we go to up here, let's definitely check the staples. A wooden goblet. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here. I think one of the things that does not help with this, though, is the fact that it's wood. <laughs> and there's so many things in here that are wood. Or, in, like, in shadows, or in places where... You can honestly just overlook them. Um, let's see. I need one more piece. Is it? No. Is that it? No. Um, I'm up close to the screen again to make sure I can actually see. Uh, now in some hand object games, instead of a scene, you can do like a puzzle of some kind. Um, I usually just do the scenes. Just because it's fun. Where is this last piece? I know where it is, it's like I remember. Um. Let's see. Well, I wasn't even trying to click there. Right here? No. Checking all around. This is a good method where if you really can't find something, just kind of go slowly throughout the scene and look in certain places. Because you know what the thing you look like looks? The thing you're looking for looks like you should be able to find it. And again, there's a thing right here, so right there I can't quite see. I'll have to move it next time. Um, let's use a hand because I can't tell where it is. Oh, that one was a good one. That's the good one. Hidden right there to act like the shadows. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely keep your eye out for that one. 
Yeah, there are going to be times where you're going to accidentally... Well, I don't know if you would say accidentally. You're going to look somewhat past the piece, and that's okay. That just happens. Whoa. I forgot the spirit popped up there. So let's go put the goblet there. By the way, if you don't really know what a goblet is, it's basically just a type of cup. From medieval times? Is that the term I want? And again, I I want to say the spider that I mentioned might be here. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh wait, let's, let's just do the head object scene first, and then we'll go check in there. And again, if, if that's where it is, uh, yeah, heads up. There's a spider, probably. Very, very soon. I don't like the spider. We have to deal with it. For anyone who knows me, uh, I, I hate spiders. I really do. I don't have, uh, the arachnophobia or whatever, but I just do not like spiders. I don't. Like, you guys have probably seen me play Gmod where I think I showed the frost spiders and I hated those. I stayed far away from those. I was like, nope, 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 nope. Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay, we got a key. Oh, God. Here I go. Three... If, you're, if you don't like spiders, then three... Two... Nope, it's not here! Okay, thank goodness. Phew! Chapter four. How are we already on chapter four? Where was chapter two? We saw chapter one. We saw chapter three. Where was chapter four? Uh, thick branch, thick batch of friars near a large tool. Okay, so we can't use that. Ooh. Oh, shield's missing. Oh, can I buy your axe? Let me buy your axe. I can cut through these and I'll give it back. I promise. Okay, this is the study? Library? Study? Something like that. Uh, oh yeah, the sorcery book. I forgot about this. We have to find basically pieces of a book. I like books. Do you guys like books? I, I, I wonder if- Does anyone else here like books? I like books. I haven't read one for a short while. I mean, I have some, but I would be pick up my reading again. It's just been a short while. Let's see... Let's see now. So we're looking for some of the spine. Uh, corner piece. Of, okay, and a piece of paper. Um. Again, if you really cannot find a piece and you don't want to use the hint, you are able to. You can just like kind of use your arrow and kind of scroll through basically everything. Because, see, then sometimes you see the piece you're looking for. So, looking for, like, a little kind of greenish piece. Um. Is this it? Yep. Now we need the piece of a page. Party wants to say, like, it's right here within the cloths. And it is! Ha ha! Found it! But yep, this is the sorcery book of immortality. So let's hold on to it. Um, this is a painting of a stoic soldier. It appears very well preserved. What's this? Oh, the parasol! Okay, well, let's see if we can open this. Can I open this yet? Oh, I need the key. There we go. Okay, real quick, before we do anything, let's go put parasol where it needs to go which is here okay use me well and you can deflect incoming bows easy the shield now what's it say to see yourself best i may be of help mirror okay so next we need a mirror emblem yeah sometimes they're very easy hints if you can understand what it's talking about if you've just played it before like i have but other than that then yeah oh books I know this book was missing. Ooh, I think in the next book is gonna create a rose. Oh. Oh, match a game! Match the two correct pieces according to the clue above. There are four variations. Those two don't match. Those two do not match. Nope. Nope. 
I saw the white one. Where is he the white one? There. There it is. Right next to each other. Okay. Uh, crowns. That or king and queen. So there's a king. Where's the queen? Is that a queen? No. That's, I think, a princess, but... So we know where the king is. Oh, there she is. Uh, oh, what does I have? A uh, sword and shield. That will work. Okay, so there's a sword. A shovel. A shovel and a slingshot. <laughs> Sometimes they have bow and arrows, I think, don't they? I need the shield. I have flowers. Ooh, flowers. Well, there it is. Okay, so they were right next to each other. Knight has a sword and shield. So you need to do it one more time. A and B equals 15. Okay, so this is where math actually comes in handy for once. Uh, let's see, what can we make 15? Uh, 9 and 6, and 7 and 8. So, 2 and 14. Oh, and 14 and 1, that's right. 4 and 0, no. 3, no, nah, that makes 12. 16, 6, 8. Five. Okay, so there's an eight. I think we saw a seven somewhere, didn't we? Maybe not. Eight. Eight. Let's see. Nine and eight make seventeen, so that can't be right. Sixteen and six. Eight and five. Hmm. Let's see. Um. I think the five's right there, right? Okay. So two and five, that can't work. Two and eight can't work. Uh, that's sixteen. That's sixteen definitely can't work unless something was a negative. So six. A six and a five makes eleven. You're a three. A three and a nine. Oh wait, wait, nine and six. Nah, I said that even. I wasn't even thinking about. It. I was thinking seven and eight because I saw the eight. <laughs> Push the button. What did it do? Oh, it just opened the door. Oh yeah, there's this place. This place is pretty. Uh, the statues appear eerily realistic, almost as if they're staring back. The godmother statue's missing a wand around her dried rose petals. An inscription reads, by our collective power, we will contain the curse of Ryros for the next 1,000 years. That must be why it's coming back, because now it's almost 1,000. It's pretty much 1,000 years later. So let's go to the bookshelf. Put this book away. See, makes a rose and ooh, a hidden staircase. Oh, jeez. Spin over my head, can't get past these. I think we come back to this later. But there's also shields. We'll make note of that. Um, don't think there's anywhere to inspect us there. Achieve this objective to progress to the next chapter. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. Let's take a note. Finally, gained access in the castle. Appear to be three entryways, each leading to a different tower. Two of them blocked off. Okay. Let's see. Well, actually, you know what? I think uh, this is a pretty good place to stop for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, again, if you want to check out this game for yourself, just go to Big. You can find it for sure. Uh, at bigfishgames.com you can try the free trial or you can actually buy the full game if you really think you're going to like the full game. Uh, it's a great game, very fun, uh, and Dark Parables, again, is a wonderful, wonderful series. Uh, much praise to them. I, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not paid to say that. It's just my personal opinion. I love the Dark Parables series. The music, the graphics, everything is usually so enchanting. Uh, so if you like things where you know, they surround themselves around fairy tales and such like that. You can find them on Big Fish Games. You can find other types of hidden object games or just other types of game genres. Uh, but yeah, that's where I found this game. So, yeah. So, anywho, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!